it's amazing to uh, to reflect on on how how my life was for the first twenty eight years of my life, and um, and I never used to call myself. I wouldn't have ever called myself a seeker, you know, in that way of being a seeker. I think so we might con conventionally understand it, but I was definitely searching. I was on the search, always constant search for well-being, basically, just to feel okay. Um, and what I had learned and been taught and role modeled was that I, um, I need to have certain sets of circumstances in place for that to, to be the case, to sort of, for a moment, relax That's that need to search. And, um, and definitely that looked like for me, you know, having an intimate partner, having the right job, having the right group of friends and uh, the right responses from those friends and, um, yeah, going to enough parties, social events, feeling that I was, like, loved and appreciated and admired or... And, um, you know, having enough money in the bank, all of these things, and also just feeling like life was, you know, progressing on the right track. And, you know, really just to see the... It's a bit like walking on the street um, on holy. <laughs> that feeling of like basically what was going on is like constantly like on guard, like constantly vigilant that something would change or something would come along and negate well-being, come somehow into my view, into my um, my perception and my vantage that would be like you know a kind of panic perception I'd be like oh no um, you know my boyfriend was quite cold to me this morning and then there would be like a sort of whole spawn of like thoughts and emotions around that and you know I'd focus in on it and like give it so much attention maybe be preoccupied for like days about it and uh, trying to find a solution trying to see how I could change or change the situation change someone else just to shift this perception into a better one that fitted into my idea of how I was meant to be as a human being. You know, just keeping everything, like, perfect <laughs> in that way. Positive. Keeping it positive. And so, you know, the appearances of, of things like fear would be, well, I mean, just to even say the word, it's like, ah, oh, you know? Yeah. Where, like, a feeling comes up and then, and then it's fear and it's automatically something that I, I had to be panicked about or to be doing something, activating some sort of like process of um, either working it out, getting rid of it, replacing it, avoiding situations because of this appearance in, in mind. And um, giving these thoughts and emotions and experiences so much weight in every moment, just feeling my attention was constantly going to the data streams, as we call them in the training, data streams, anything that we can describe, anything that we can perceive. And, um, and it's a constant effort. It's a constant effort to live in this way. But there was just no other option. Nothing else was ever presented to me as a viable possible lifestyle, <laughs> a way of using my mind or understanding or recognizing reality and, um, and never ever knowing that what was available in every single moment was a resource of complete well-being, total stability, openness, perfect love. <laughs> never ever being introduced to that. <laughs> How sad. And, um, and so, walking into an open meeting ten years ago in the town that I was living in and being introduced to the nature of my mind, being introduced to open intelligence and being invited to rely on open intelligence for short moments whenever I remembered to do so, to see what's at the basis of every thought and emotion and experience, what knows every thought and emotion experience. And what we get to know here is, is open intelligence and how you can rely on it and experience the complete, the complete freedom and empowerment that's available to you and every human being in every moment 
not through changing our thoughts and emotions anymore, but from seeing that we can rely on open intelligence and allow all data streams just to be as they are. Just to be as they are. Be as they are, like mist in the air, mist resolving in the air, or like a rainbow in space, vividly appearing, but without an independent nature, completely pervaded by space. So it is with our thoughts and emotions and experiences. When you stop thinking for a moment and introduce yourself to open intelligence, so just stop thinking and notice what remains. The brightness, clarity, alertness of mind, of intelligence, your power to know, right here, right here, inseparable from everything that you're experiencing. People, places, things. Now it's, um, for me, it was very normal also uh, for, for me too to, fi to think, um, to have the thought, I'm not recognizing open intelligence in relation to people. All as well. Just continue on with short moments. Continue on. It's uh, right now to, to recognize open intelligence, inseparable from everything that's arising in this moment. All appearances. And so uh, the, the Balance You Training offers an educational program to get to know open intelligence, to get to know the beneficial power of our intelligence in every moment, which is, which is in our thoughts and emotions and not found in changing them into a special set. Because what I can see I was doing, you know, with this focus on the data streams, like something comes up and I'm incessantly describing it, is it positive, is it negative, do I want it? So the, the view is completely collapsed into this very small space. And in one short moment, we just completely relax and recognize the openness of mind, recognize the brightness of our intelligence. The view is open, mind is forever open, and we recognize that just like that in one short moment. And the impulse in that short moment, the, the impulse to do something with our thoughts and emotions is, is simply relaxed and allowed to be as it is too. What we can see is that any data stream arises and resolves on its own, like a line drawn in space, leaving no trace, effortless, nothing needed to make that happen. And um, so it's, I very quickly saw that with just testing out short moments, and you know what, I love short moments more and more. <laughs> It's like, it just gets better. So, um, and very much, you know, I had many ideas about, you know, doing something and it being like, you know, need, I'm, I need to be supported and that's not very empowered and it's a bit weak. And I just see, wow, with this training, everything is just supporting more and more flourishing, more and more flourishing. So it makes, there's no, there's nothing to work out, there's nothing to question. It's like, how do I want to live? How do I want to live? Do I want to live like obsessed by my thoughts and emotions and using, expending all my energy and trying to find the perfect set, which is a never ending and thankless task? Or do I want to completely rest? <laughs> rest in the innate beneficial power of every moment, allowing data streams to resolve on the fly and support me in a profound and instinctive way without needing to work things out anymore. What a relief, what a relief, just not to use the mind in this like obsessive fashion to find well-being and it's not needed, but I was never told it wasn't needed. Just on that constant game and search, you know, keeping myself small and limited to this idea of, of being like this sort of personal identity that needs to protect my mind and keep everything just in place when we can just in right now, just test it, just test it completely relaxed completely relax mind and body, rest, rest is open intelligence, rest right here in this moment as it is, there's nothing, nothing to be done with the flow of mind, it's perfect as it is, positive and negative, everything as it is, when we rely on open intelligence we find a, a stable ground from which to live and respond, an open vantage, not, not limited down into all of the descriptions about our experience which are just 
unpredictable and ceaseless. But really a clear view, like going from being in the valley and seeing the sides of the mountains, you know, just focusing on our data streams and having that vantage to standing on the mountain top with a clear view, seeing everything clearly, just naturally. That's our intelligence, that's our capacity. And really seeing what will serve moment by moment. This is most amazing to see come about. To see that that's our capacity, every single human being, our capacity to see what will be of greatest benefit to all. I faced, I faced people very close to me dying before the training and, um, and since. And um, it's, it's so incredible to like, know a complete stability in myself and really get to know fears for myself, like just allow, being able to allow that to be as it is rather than having an entire story and having to, or having to avoid it or replace it or do anything with it, really seeing that I can rest completely as that data stream arises, seeing it as inseparable from open intelligence and also, you know, realizing how many people feel this, you know, really connecting is so human, so human and also getting to know that about me that will be there at the moment of death when, when the breathing has stopped, whenever, you know, still aware that um, you know, this complete comfortability, this total stability of mind that requires nothing to hold it up, which is primary, always on, always on, whether awake or sleeping, what knows, what's always aware about each of us, and getting to know this, really feeling like a instinctive deepening of assurance in myself, in life, and whatever it might bring and also in being available for, for those I love and really seeing that my clarification of data streams of what profound support that is to others. You know, when, well, the fear of death can play out in just so many ways, so many ways. And uh, so really getting to know it as open intelligence, as an appearance of our, our intelligence you know, totally open, free to be as it is, is a, is a really immense gift. And we see nothing, nothing affects the, the benefit of open intelligence. Nothing is a sign of an absence of that. Everything is included. 